Hello, welcome to game six of Minion Pawn versus Kazumar. Minion Pawn's up 3-2 going into game six. Kazu resigned the previous one a little bit early, I guess, which is Donald X's reaction. Um, I think it was a touch early, yeah. Um, so Trapper's Lodge lets us top deck a student on turn one. I don't know if that's a thing we want to do, but it lets us do that. Hmm... I just really want good cards in my deck, and I feel like student is not contributing to the good cards in my deck paradigm. I kind of want to go courier student, and then like I can play student, and then courier student to trash an estate or something um, in some lines, and it gives me a little bit of extra money, because it's just tough for Minion Pawn to hit silver here, a lot of these lines. Like they're going to draw one or two, they're going to draw a student, three coppers estate, and I guess you just trash the estate in that line. Um... Citadel's fun. Lich is weird. Uh, I don't know how we get... Like, I guess you sculpt for a bunch of bridges in that that case. It's really not clear to me you don't just go courier silver and then, like, top deck the... Or yeah, you buy the courier turn one and then you gain a bridge on turn two and you've got courier bridge and then you just get a junk dealer pretty quickly. Like, courier bridge are two nice cards to have in the deck. So that would be what I would do. I think courier bridge is guaranteed to hit yeah top decking the courier in the worst case you bottom deck a copper and then courier plays it so courier bridge seems pretty nice to me um i think you're decently likely to hit five in the second shuffle with that that line courier kind of behaves like a silver there and courier silver is over 90 percent to hit to hit five uh if you if you collide except if you collide them it's a little bit worse but I think that's what I would do here is look at Courier Silver into a Junk Dealer and then a Sculptor. Uh, Minion Pawn with a 3-4. I honestly think they could, they could in theory, like go Silver Courier and just use the Trapper's Lodge for when they hit 5, and that'll let them top deck the the Junk Dealer. Um, because they're going to have they're gonna have favors with the student, but the, they're not going to have any money to buy good cards to top deck. Yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, DZ doesn't find anything to be fun, so don't uh, don't feel bad if they're they're disagreeing with uh, with your perception of the game. Bridge, and they're not top decking it. Wow. Um. Okay. Bridge silver really over? I can't be right. Uh. So Minion Pawn's going to have four coppers in those bottom five cards. So they are going to draw three money next turn. So I think you just trash a copper here and then buy a, buy a silver next turn. Because we could have had a student and trashed a copper and top decked a silver here. But I see I see Kazu's point is they're able to, you know, if you hit five turn three, you top deck a junk dealer and you're pretty happy. Um... Our village is Citadel, so that's the thing. They get a Sculptor. Wow, not what I would have thought. They're going to sculpt the silver and then buy a... Buy a Prov? Buy, 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 buy a Junk Dealer? You just have to play with Junk Dealer. You have to thin, right? They're going to try to spike six for crop rotation. So we can trash a copper here as minion pawn. More likely, I think you trash an estate and then buy a... You trash an estate and buy a courier. Uh, nah. We just top deck a silver. Because who gets a second sculptor? Oh, they're doing sculptor sheepdog shenanigans? Sculptor sheepdog isn't falconer. Falconer sheepdog works, right? Sculptor sheepdog does not behave the way you want it to minion pong gets a c chart they don't have any they don't have any duplicates in their deck what is the c chart doing i am so confused why isn't kazu buying why isn't kazu buying junk dealer 
even with whatever they're doing here, I assume Junk Dealer is a positive addition to the deck. There's tons of crap. They're going to buy crop rotation. And that's going to get them through not having a Junk Dealer. They've still got seven coppers. They're just doing Sculptor Money? Like, Citadel should help Sculptor Money for sure. I am so confused by what both of these players are doing in this situation. I'm just so confused. Minion Pond's deck makes no sense. Kazumara's deck makes no sense. Does anyone in spec chat have any idea what either of these players are doing right now? Sculptor, good card. Like Sculptor. So you could double play the bridge here. That's quite interesting. Double play the bridge and then sculpt. You can also like sculpt for sculpt for sheepdog. Sculpt for silver. I I, I just so badly want a junk dealer for, for Kazumaru. And honestly for Minion Pawn too. Um I feel like both players have pretty pretty significantly bungled this opening. Or they're again operating at a higher higher plane of Dominion existence than I am. They wanted to undo... Okay, they, they picked the wrong step. Courier is also kind of interesting in this deck that Kazu's building. Um, uh, because um, it's thick. So, but yeah, doubling the bridge seems good. And then Sculptor gaining golds. Mm. This is not This is not unpleasant. I still, I still want junk dealers. I still would take two junk dealers and another sculptor as Kazu. They've got ten stop cards in the deck, and you want to be playing these sculptors for for golds and stuff all the time. They're just going for green, and Minion Pond's student thing is just too slow to compete with this. I feel like a good bridge engine is gonna crush this stuff. Minion Pond didn't even rotate to the contra. They couldn't because they couldn't afford couldn't ever afford four i think you have to suck it up and not open with a silver here or, or to open top deck silver if you open top deck silver on three four you are guaranteed to hit five on turn two and then you just buy junk dealer on turn two and be like i'm gonna win this game because my deck's gonna be better this turn's crazy though they were able to gain a province i think you just get another sculptor but i mean i i, I, I junk dealer obviously seems better than, than anything else but even like a couple of couriers makes sense with all the all this stuff and like citadel on courier could be quite nice ah uh, what what's happening here mean palm buys a gold they've added two c charts and now they're buying golds <laughs> and now kazu's gonna double double play the 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 the, the council room? Think, think how much nicer this turn would be if we didn't draw three estates and five coppers. These C-charts are re really bad, I think. Uh, I don't even know what you take here. I, again, I'm just, I would still say take Junk Dealer, but at some point you click Sculptor. Um, this next turn for Kazu, it doesn't seem unreasonable to me to, to, to gain, some, uh, gain some couriers. Like, these sea charts are never doing anything. Like, Minion Spawn's deck is, is, is a lot thinner, so they have that going for them. But we can gain, like, Silver Courier and then use Courier to play the uh, Council Room or something. And then play the bridge. Like, okay, that, that also works. I like Sculptor for Courier here. Um, Sculptor for Bridge is not unreasonable. They're just gonna, gonna get 20 money and gain a province. So um, this commentator has no idea what's going on in this kingdom. I don't believe in what either player is doing. I feel like Kazu high rolled their draws a little bit. This shuffle looks like it's going to be atrocious for Kazu. 
um, Minion Pawn way over went into the student stuff and had no money, so couldn't buy any good cards, and they got these C charts. Like, we're just, we're just four turns behind where Minion Pawn could be with a better line. Uh, and who knows, maybe this crop rotation will magically... Yeah, we draw gold, and we get a four province. Uh... I just, I desperately want them to click on a courier. It seems like such a good card here. Nope. We're gonna, they're going to be able to double play Council Room here too and double province this turn? This is some crazy stuff. Um, this is not like a, a line I would have thought was, was happening. The good news is Minion Pong can get a Sorcerer and Kazu can just like never guess what the top card of their deck is because their deck is so big. And they didn't thin a single card, and somehow the deck that doesn't thin at all. I still feel like Kazu's deck with one junk dealer could be at a similar rate of output and have thinned four cards by now. Yeah, are they really going to double? double? Okay, that answers that question. This is a spot where I think Courier is quite interesting because we, we can get the Courier and then play the bridge out of the, the discard pile. It's the same number of actions, and then we can potentially do some Courier chains later. Um, so that would be what I would look, look to do here is Kazu pick up the courier. They're just, no need. We're just going to double. We're just going to double with seven silvers on turn 12. Uh, what is this, 20? I can double province here. And minion pawn, yep, that was, that was going to be it. Uh, wow. What a match. Uh, three, three tie. So, um, nicely done for minion pawn. Um, coming in as a returning B-League player against Kazu, who finished third in A. So, nice match for Minion Pawn. Um, some weird weird draws, weird kingdoms. Um, I think Kazu played played fine. There are a couple of spots, I think, where they, they could have done altar stuff into Lackeys a little bit cleaner. Um, that was to one of me fairly obvious blunder. If you, in the turns where they played Minion twice for coins and then altar, they could have altered into Lackeys and then played Minion to spin on and played their thin thinner faster. They didn't end up winning that game. Um, so, we're finished at a 3-3 three, three tie. Uh, um, evenly, I think both players played about evenly that match, so I didn't think there was any huge, huge luck swings um, there. And um, happy to get to commentate this. Please leave a comment on the YouTube channel if you have any thoughts.